In this video, we're sharing with you five tips on how to tow a Sprinter the right way and the safe way. All right, tip number five, you see this area right here, immediately underneath the front of the van. This area right here is where you need to latch onto. Okay, this is the exact same the exact same area we were looking at in the last picture. The hook goes right into it and it attaches to the trailer. You need a ratchet strap. You need to ratchet strap that thing down as tight as you possibly can. Again, these are just other angles of it. This is what it looks like. Strapped in right there, the front of the vehicle, and down onto the flatbed trailer. So walking around to the back here, you'll notice we have more ratchet straps. So essentially, this is what we're doing for the rear shocks. Tip number five, front struts. Tip number four, rear shocks right here. And again, these shocks need to be compressed just like the front. So notice here we have the brake lines in the way, just not worth, um, just not worth it. I am putting a lot of stress on these straps, so I do not want to give myself more work essentially. So let's look right up here. Okay. And of course, this is the area where you want to, which you want to utilize to compress the rear shocks. Just like before, wrap that strap around, get that ratchet strap, and just crank it down as hard as you possibly can. As tightly ratcheted down as possible, of course. It goes right onto the trailer, just like the front. You will need these larger ratchet straps. Don't try and get away with those small ones. This thing will, once, once you strap it down, you will need to put a lot of stress on these straps. So I would say this is the minimum size straps you can get away with. Now, the real reason why we want to compress the struts and the shocks on these is because without it, this thing's just way too tall. We put it on a trailer and tow it. Every gust of wind, every time you brake, every time a large vehicle passes you in the other lane, it will cause the van, the trailer, and whatever you're using to tow it uh, rumble and shake. And ultimately, it is the scariest thing ever. It will make you uh, pucker up, if you will. So what we're really doing is we're making the vehicle a little bit lower and 100 times more stable. We're essentially making the van and the trailer underneath it work as one unit. Now, it's both safer and it's far more relaxing towing this thing when you're towing it with the struts and the shocks compressed. Tip number three the absolute minimum trailer length you can use for the shortest wheelbase, that is the 134 wheelbase, is an 18 foot. Do not try and utilize those 16 foot U-Haul ones, they are just too short. Ideally, you want a 20 or a 22 foot trailer. All right, and this brings us to tip number two. If your vehicle's not running, unless you're driving it up onto the trailer and driving it right off, if you need to use a winch, use two people, all right? I cannot stress how important it is to use two people. You might be able to get it on with one person, but I guarantee you, it's not going to be easy to get off unless you have two people there, one to push it, one to sit inside and tap the brakes. If you're watching this video, it likely means that your sprinter either isn't starting or it's not shifting or it's not running right. I address all of those issues on my channel. I encourage you to check it out. Alternatively, if it is a no-start issue, go ahead and watch this video right here.